Hello, so today I'm going to be doing some more on the electrics and fitting a solar panel. As I am going to fit a bilge pump, what I should have done when I put this big wire through was put some little wires through too. So I'm just going to sort of tie them onto here and I'm going to pull this red one through, hopefully pull these through. Uh, I might put another wire on and see if I can get a red, um, red one, I don't know. Uh, so I'll have to pull those through to there, pull it through all the way down there again, um, and then pull one back, cut, probably cut it, uh, and then pull one back. Okay, so this is my final solution, I hope, for the attempt to go through. A couple of blues, which are the uh, bilge pump on manual on auto plus a ground going to it uh, and then I've attached another red wire so I can pull this red wire back through uh, so we'll see if it works uh, I'm going to have to find the wire down here somewhere and pull it through I couldn't find the giant red wire in the end it's obviously slipped right behind that so I had to change and attach it to the black wire which I'd found and I pulled that through, so it's all through now. So I'm going to take this tape off, thread those through there, down, and then hopefully leave this red one, put this red one back on, and pull the black one back up through this one, I hope. So I managed to get the cable down here, through here. I've been trying, ideally, I just wanted to go straight across there because I'm going to put the bilge pump in there. These are difficult boats to put bilge pumps in. A lot of people say you don't really need them and and that but that is the lowest point that i can find and i'm putting the bilge pump in because i just like that little bit of extra um reassurance for an emergency i know these things float they fill up but i really don't want it to fill up especially if i'm i'm not with it so it's, it'll just give me a bit of peace of mind. So this is where I was going to put it, which is under the ice chest. But trying to get the, the cable round to it is an absolute nightmare. Because it's got this uh, this bit here, it's where the swing keel sits. And um, it basically blocks off the whole of this channel to about there. So I've either got to come down here around round there and then up there which is where i've gone at the minute i've got to about there or it might be possible to go that way round and under there it's probably more possible to do that um, but it's still a bit of a long route um, so we'll see so i've given up for now i'm gonna i've rooted it around here um, so that wire is just going to be left there now ready for when I do install a bilge pump. And it's just sort of hidden under this seat and around there now. Um, but I haven't got any longer, I've got tons of the, the blue, but I haven't got any longer black. Uh, so it stopped there, so we'll probably have to extend that when we come to do it. But I'm going to close it all back up for now uh, and get back to this panel over here. So after I've done all that, I've had a bit of a change of heart about what I'm going to do, I think. So what I'm going to do is run a cable, a negative and a positive, directly from the battery here, under here, round to under here where I'm sitting, which is where the bilge pump is going to be. So the bilge pump is going to have a permanent supply onto the automatic side there and then it's going to have an inline fuse like I've done with that cable so that's the sort of the, the emergency one uh, I'm then going to keep one of these cables up here but actually what I'm going to do is 
drag it through with uh, now I've cut it I've already cut it um, but I've still got a whole load here and failing that I've got a whole load of another color so I'm just going to measure to see if it will go all the way around so the idea is I'll pull it tie this on pull it through so there's only one so the black will go the other blue will go so there's one blue cable coming from up here so you can manually activate the bilge pump uh, and that will run where I've already done it all the way around there um, and into there failing that I might just in fact I'm thinking about it now I might just pull two through and, and leave and just extend the one that's there um, anyway so that's the idea and then what I'm going to do because I've, I've been thinking about how to fuse this one I could put an inline one in it but then you've got it if, if it blows you've got to get in the back box here uh, to actually change it so I'm thinking actually the best thing might be to change this um, and just put a slightly longer one on with with six and then I can have one for the mast nav so that switch becomes use, useless at the minute or, or for something else um, and I can put the bilge pump on there as well uh, I was going to fit, fit one of these for the bilge pump somewhere next to it there but I don't want to do that now so that's what I'm thinking I'm doing at the moment this is what under the centre console looks like uh, on my boat anyway this is where they all the um, controls and everything feed through um, it had a battery here but I've, I've removed that for now um, just give me a bit more space so I'm going to tidy this up you see there well need, need a replacement definitely uh, so I'm going to try and tidy this up give it a clean tidy it up a bit uh, support all these a bit more give us a bit more space and uh, yeah rewire it put a kill switch in new kill switch so what I've done in here is fitted the new kill switch although I am going to change it again uh, in the near future the reason for that is the hole is not quite doesn't quite fill it up fill the existing hole so I'm going to get one of the ones from blue water yachts or something like that that's designed to fill that hole hole up but it, it'll do for now um, so what we've got I've made up a, a thick nice thick new cable to go directly to the battery I was able to reuse these because they're actually not in bad too bad condition once I've cleaned everything up uh, so I've made up a nice new thick cable which feeds battery one on the kill switch and battery two that one comes from the inside and then here we've got the one to the engine so this is the common so there's one to, the one to the engine haven't quite figured out what these two are yet i've got to do a bit of tracing for that i think it might be something to do with the instrument system or something like that but i've got to trace it down but i've let i've connected it back up anyway uh, and then all the ground or negative ones there uh, the two original uh, wires here the yellow and the red down here um, I've I've sealed at the ends and just tied them away because um, they were the ones that went through to the panel inside but we're no longer doing it that way we're, fi we're feeding the internal panel from the other battery and then supplementing that battery using this if we need to uh, so that's it, so the battery's on charge, so that'll come back in shortly and I can uh, get that connected back up. So, change of plan. I went on Blue Water Yachts website last night to order a few bits and pieces. Um, uh, like a locky, uh, a quick release pin for the mast, things like that. And I noticed they had a uh, replacement for the kill switch and a charger. Uh, a charge controller, automatic charge controller, and the kill switch replacement has three positions. It has a an off, an on, but it has uh, dual poles, so it'll turn the engine system on and the domestic system on separately. And then there's a third option to link them all together, um, and I think it'll fit in that hole better than that. So I've bought that. It might be a week or two before it gets here because it's coming in from the uh, the states. Um, so for now I'm going to leave it as is 
Uh, I'm glad I didn't chop off the internal wires because I shall need them again uh, when that comes. Uh, and I'm just going to put the battery back on for now um, to allow me to test the engine. So the battery's back in. Um, this is the positive going to the internal, so I've just blanked that off for the minute. When I get the new switch, it will just fit on there. Uh, it's got a couple hanging off here. That's a, the green ones are positive, and that's a negative, and that's to go to the solar uh, panel uh, charge controller, which will sit in here somewhere. Um, I've had to switch the battery round, it was the other way, um, but this this yellow wire is the internal ground um, and it was before the ground, this is the ground terminal, uh, sorry negative terminal, this is the negative terminal and it was this side, uh, it was the other side before and that was spread across past the positive. So if you ever got a split in that, you'd have a short circuit. Um, so I've just spun the, and it's not long enough to, to stretch really. So I've just spun the battery round. It was a little bit harder to tighten the terminals up, but, but it's fine. Um, so that's it, ready now for the new switch, uh, the automatic charge controller, and the solar panel to be installed. Okay, so I fitted the um, solar panel, got the charge controller in here, not sure where I'm going to mount it yet, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, I've put an inline fuse on the battery side, which connects there. I've run a couple of cables down into there, under the bed, you, uh, under the rear berth here, following the engine wires basically, and coming out here like this, which then join onto the solar panel here. The solar panel is going to be mounted here. Um, I've got a thing that I use, you can use for, uh, to, to mount an outboard that goes around this. I'm actually going to fix it too, so when it's done, it'll be somewhere up like that, and I can adjust it slightly if we're at different angles. Um, but I just need to get some stainless steel bolts to clamp it on. Uh, so that's the solar panel done. One other thing I did work out while I was doing the, um, the solar panel was actually under the berth uh, at the back here there's a gap where it's got a, like a carpet thing I'll show you in a second um, but actually there's about a sort of a foot's gap uh, at the back so you can actually access this if you want to you can take it off. Let me just show you where it is. There, so behind that carpet thing at the back, that actually removes and you can access a little bit further back. So that's the solar panel installed. And you see what I've done is drilled through these middle plastic bits here, put a screw through onto one of these, and we'll see how we get on with that. Yeah, and it, it'll move around a little bit. Try. I mean, that's it. Move, moves a bit. It turn right round that way if I really wanted it to. Wire feeds into there. Although I've put it this side of this, so I've got to just undo that at the top here. But that's fine. Goes into there, under there, into the centre console here, and hopefully after I've installed it, it will still be sending electricity through. And I haven't broken something. Let's just check. Yep. Still putting power in, so that's good. This battery was fully charged up anyway. Uh, so we've got this battery connected up here uh, with the mains wire here. Um, I'm wait, just waiting for the new kill switch to come uh, from the US, should be arri uh, arriving next week. Um, so I'll come back in here and finish off in that ca uh, cabinet then. And inside, I've now installed the big um, uh, sort of house battery. 
Um, what I need to do uh, is I've got another new kill switch on the way for in here. Um, once I've got that, I just need to switch the wires around because it was the kill switch before was done on the ground side, whereas I normally do things on the uh, positive side. So I'll just need to switch the positive one around to the kill, and I'll probably create a new short short lead between the two, uh, and then do a few little bits to it. Like I think I'm going to connect a uh, a permanent feed to a, a bilge pump from it um, but then that should be it for that and then the new switch will um, switch both on first position or switch both this battery on to this the sort of domestic side and the power on to the engine um, now I need to replace this and that's just arrived today um, so I should be fitting that very soon see it's the same sort of style it's just uh, got six instead of four so hopefully I can just squeeze a little bit of extra room on there uh, probably need about that, that little bit more get the six on there so everything's fused including the mast light and then that will be it done so I've cut the uh, hole a little bit bigger to fit this new panel in, which is fine. I've transferred over most of the wires. I had to extend the uh, McGregor wires a little bit because they wouldn't quite reach the terminals at the top. Um, I've got one spare, but I don't know what it's for. Um, and I've got a question about, because that was a switch for the mast nav, whether that was actually the nav light on it or whether it was the the anchor light on the top of it um, but I've had a guess at which ones it can be for now but that I suspect that is for these possibly um, but I am going to um, just wait and I shall check that once I've powered it up so I've received my package from Blue Water Yachts in the States Dispatched on the 29th, arrived on the 1st, so it only took like four days to get here, which is pretty pretty good really. Let me see if I can prop the camera up here. So we have new kill switch and the automatic charge relay. We have a new light to go on the top of the mast because the current one there is missing, missing the plastic piece. Um, it's not in this style. Uh, also got something else in here by the way. Uh, new uh, drain plug because the one I've got it's got this bit but the um, the top bit snapped off it so it just makes it easier pulling it in and out. A uh, quick release pin for the mask just to make it easier to put it in and out without having to use uh, some spanners. And a quick release pin um, for the, uh, the sail and the boom. And also a new Windex because um, it's missing the Windex. Um, so hopefully that will fit on. I've now fitted the new kill switch. It's got battery one. Battery two, position one turns them all on, separate circuits. Position two joins them all together. Um, so there is one other thing I'm going to do, um, just uh, 
very shortly is actually fuse this main wire that goes to the uh, control panel inside. Just going to put an inline fuse on that. I've just hooked it up for now because I want to test um, a few of the uh, connectors and find out what's what inside. Um, and then I should do that. Um, I haven't fitted the automatic charge controller yet. Um, I've got that in here. Um, it's fairly easy to fit by the looks of it. One connects to one battery, one connects to the other. Um, connect to ground with a fuse on and optionally that's the um, ignition, goes to the ignition cranking. Um, so it, all, it sort of knows if it's cranking and, and sort of shuts it off. Um, but that's optional, I don't know whether I'll put that in or not, it depends whether I can find the right wire. Uh, not sure whether I'm going to cut out a space in the console for this yet, whether I really need to see it or not. I don't know. Um, but I'm just, before I install this, I'm just waiting for some more um, cable, some higher ampage cable and higher, higher ampage fuses um, to come that I can just put in between these before I fit it. Um, so that'll probably be next week that I fit that. This is what it looks like that side. So you can see it's a good replacement for the original matches the whole size um, so yeah so I've now rigged this battery up um, I'm still going to put in a couple of permanent wires off there for the bilge pump but that is as as is at the minute so I'm just going to test this switch now so when I turn this on hopefully all will be well the engine and power will be on and the internal power will be on without any bangs and pops, but we'll see. Ready? No smoke yet. Okay. Let's have a look inside. Okay, all looks good so far. So let's try the first one. Easy, nice and easy one. Cabin lights on. Not on. on hmm uh -huh. I think it's because this needs switching on yeah did I mention I'm replacing this <laughs> a lot of effort but that should be on now so let's try again cabin on beautiful okay running lights i.e. nav lights on let's have a look uh, i can see in the reflection in the window that rear one's on so that's good uh bilge pump auxiliary one So auxiliary two is going to be instruments. So yeah, the instruments come on, and that and that. Uh, so that and the top one should be the anchor nav lights. I'll rename it bilge pump. Yeah, nothing on it at the minute. So I've just got this one to find out what it is. So I think first I'll go and get my voltmeter. So with the help of the voltmeter, I figured it all out. The uh, the spare one was actually for the light for uh, in the um, compass. Um, so that attached to the navigation lights, and I, I've tested the um, two on deck fittings, 
and I did that they were the wrong way around so the anchor light is now properly the anchor light and auxiliary one which will be renamed masthead um mast nav light or whatever it is um so that can go back in now and I figured out what the two extra wires with the fuses on were for they're actually for these so these are connected directly um to the battery there with a the fuse that one and that one over there so that can go back in now yep yeah, that's all set to go back in now uh, there's nothing no no bare ends showing there's a couple of screws in there so you get the idea and then that'll be the control panel finished so that's it for this week um, so jobs left on my list before it can go back in the water. Um, I'm going to re-antifoul it. I'm going to buff and polish either sides up. Uh, a little bit more cleaning on the outside. Sort the last little bit of the electrics out. Um, and I think that's about it. Just just test the engine. Um, so I might do that in this coming in this coming week. Just to test the engine works, but I've got no reason to believe it, it doesn't. And then I think we're good to go.